Hey everyone, happy Tuesday. So it is Tip Tuesday and I just wanted to come on and um, share a few things about one of my favorite products, our Mary Kay After Sun Replenishing Gel. And if you have never tried this, oh my goodness, you are so missing out. So this is one of our limited um, it, edition. It's kind of a seasonal item, so you can get it right now and um, through part of the summer. But you don't want to miss out because you will want to stock up and you will want to make sure that you have some of this. So I know in our quarantine time, we're not able to go to the beach right now. But we're still working out in the yard and still just kind of hanging outside, even though it's at home. But you will love this. So I'm going to tell you just a few things about the product. And I'm just going to tell you a multitude of ways that you can utilize this after sun replenishing gel. And um, it will become a staple in your home too. So it is um, made with botanical extracts which I love, and they have soothing antioxidants and also also um, replenish vital moisture to your skin. So that being said, it's also not sticky. It's not tacky, and I'll show you that in just a second. And um, it's so easy to apply. I actually love keeping mine in my refrigerator because it gives a even more cooling sensation than even normal even if you leave it on your counter. So that's another favorite thing of mine to do is leave it in the refrigerator all year long. Um, so I love it too because it absorbs easy and quickly. So it is not sticky. It's not tacky. Praise the Lord because who wants that? Because then you just start attracting other things on your skin and that's just no fun. So some of the key ingredients are glycerin, and the glycerin is also um, really great for a moisturizer and hydrator. So it's going to help to condition and soothe that skin um, by adding and attracting and um, also retaining moisture. So your body's going to just keep wanting to bring it in so you're not feeling all dry. You're not feeling like the Sahara Desert or like a little lizard. So it also has a Rodelio. Um, rose, rosea root extract and a vanilla fruit extract. And what those do are those are amazing conditioners. So they help to improve the appearance of your skin by helping your skin to look softer and smoother. And just, um, and then when you add that with the moisturizing, it's just going to look fantastic. The other thing is um, Camellia Sinesis leaf extract. That's got the antioxidants in it, and those help to protect your skin from the effects of the free radicals that get generated um, by the environment from the sun damage, from pollution, um, all those things that we come into contact with each day that can just irritate our skin and um, cause those um, free radicals to roam around, which, you know, those are things that can cause cancer as well. Um, but it also has a soothing agent agent. So that will also help to soothe your, um, uh, soothe your skin. Sorry, I got a message. So that just totally set me off for a second. All right. So I am going to just show you what this blue goddess, as I like to call it, looks like. So I'm just going to put a little bit on the back of my hand and see it's this gorgeous aqua blue color. And it's just so lightweight. You just rub it in your hand and it immediately starts absorbing. So you, and I am so not sticky at all. Like I just rub this stuff all over the place. I love it. It's my favorite. So we go to the beach. I love going to the beach. Yes, I live in Florida, but I love being outside and I love the beach. This is always in my bag and in my house because if you get sunburns, um, if you get any burns from, if you touch a hot surface, anything like that, or even um, wind burn, this works amazing to take away that burning sensation. It just soothes your skin and it really does help so I don't peel. So if you're somebody who gets out in the sun, you burn a lot, this will help. It'll kind of reduce that um, burn, kind of turns into a tan or turns back to your normal skin color, but you won't peel. So I love it. I just apply it vigorously throughout and just constantly, um, and it just helps to moisturize my skin. It's fantastic. So it also helps with some other skin irritants and disorders like psoriasis, eczema, 
um, some dermatitis and things like that can take away that itch and that burning that they can have. Um, but I love it because it protects your scalp. So men, this is for you too. It'll help with your, um, as an aftershave. Or if you um, are somebody that's bald and you're shaving your head, it's just a great protector for your bald head um, and as an aftershave, but it also helps to protect. Um, so all those women that um, are going through cancer treatments, um, chemo, anything like that, it's a protective layer over their head before they put on their wig or any hair pieces at all. So it helps to prevent prevent any irritation from that too. Plus it doesn't leave any funky residues at all and it makes your um, wigs fit the way they're supposed to fit. So it's not gonna change or alter the way that they fit. So it works perfect for cancer patients as well. Um, it also works great to help control dandruff or um, itching and flaking on your scalp. You can just kind of rub some in and just let it sit for a little bit and then just wash it out. Um, and hey, who doesn't have curly, unruly, frizzy hair, especially now that humidity is coming. So put a little bit in your hair. Some even like it as like a gel and it kind of works great to tame that frizz. I don't know about you, but I need to tame the frizz every day. It gets a little unruly. Plus the antioxidants and the moisturizers help to kind of condition that curly hair. So whoop, whoop, shout out for the curly hair girls. Um, it also is great for a bug repellent. And it works great for insect bites and bee stings. Um, you know, if you're out in the yard these days since we're quarantined, trying to get out of the house, um, do some yard work. Helps with some of that itchiness you get from just being out in the yard. And it'll help, um, if you're like me, I swell up crazy from mosquito bites, fire ants, all that. This helps to kind of tone that down, decrease the swelling, potentially decrease any of the hives that you kind of get from that if you're kind of sensitive like me and um, just really helps to eliminate all those skin irritations. So another fantastic reason to just keep some around your house all year long. Um, and it also helps with combing diaper rash. <gasps> Where's my mama's out there? So yes, combs diaper rash. Who doesn't hate and wanna cry for your baby when they get this horrible diaper rash and coming up heat rash? So put that on there to help soothe that skin, but you can also use it even before the rash comes kind of as a protective barrier. Plus it feels good and it's great for kids or men or women. So the whole family can benefit from the after sun gel. Um, and it also just helps, you know, for all those um, teens and um, young adults that are going through um, severe acne or stages and those acne treatments, sometimes some of those medications and stuff can be so irritating to your skin. And this can just kind of be applied over that. It doesn't interfere with um, the derm medications at all or any of your treatments that you're using, but it helps to just calm that skin down and help soothe it. And it'll help reduce that redness as well. When they wake up in the morning, it'll kind of be, oh, it's not so on fire all the time. So those are just some of the multitude of things that um, this amazing after sun gel, um, replenishing gel can do for you. And so I just can't tell you enough how much I love it, how much my family loves it, and so many of my customers love it too. So you can get yours um, anytime. I have some in stock and just wanted to let you know one of my favorites this Tuesday and just let me know if um, you want to stock up on yours for your summer as it is um, a seasonal item. So have a wonderful Tuesday and I hope to um, bless you again on Thursday with another um, video. Have a great day.